A natural step in the development of e-commerce and the development of an e-commerce brand is the opening of an online store. Baselinker allows adding many different online store integrations. And in this training video, you will learn how to add such integrations using, as an example, two of the most popular e-commerce platforms in Poland. Remember that thanks to our documentation, you are able to add your own e-store integration. In order to add an integration, you need to choose the Integrations tab on the main page and select Add Integration. E-store integrations are available in the Shops section. After selecting Show All, you'll see all available store platforms that you can, at this time, add to your account with as little as one or two clicks of a mouse. Undeniably, one of the most popular platforms in the world, as well as in Poland, is WooCommerce. WooCommerce has many benefits because it's an open source platform, therefore it doesn't come with a monthly subscription fee. You can create an eShop for free adding selected plugins. And using a WordPress platform, you can create your own eShop pretty much from scratch. It's relatively low entry level, ease of creating a store and free integration, make WooCommerce an easy choice for a lot of customers. Let's see what's needed to create such an integration and how to set it up correctly. We click on WooCommerce. Only three bits of information are required here. Your choice of display name, your online store's web address without HTTP at the beginning. For example, www.shop.co.uk. The next set of information is the API token and the secret API key, which you get directly from your e-commerce panel in WordPress. At the bottom, you decide if you want to synchronize the products, if you want to import the products into the Baselinker system directly from your shop. If you decide to add products to your shop, simply choose Save once you've filled in all the details. Once the system is added to the panel, it will show up here. You select the WooCommerce tile, and a window with detailed settings of your shop opens up. In the first tab, you can test the connection, check if it's correct. In the next tab, Orders, you can set up checking for orders. Every 10 minutes is free, once every minute costs an additional 83 cents per day. Then you choose which status should the orders file under. Of course, the orders which fall under that status can later be divided using automated actions. Do you want the name of the product that shows up in Baselinker to be the name that currently shows in your storage? If you select yes, then even if you have a different name in your online store, in Baselinker, you'll see the product name from your storage. Remember that you need to link the products you have in your Baselinker storage with those in your online store. You'll learn more about this in the storage episode. In the next section, we decide whether the orders from outside of the store, from a Marketplace account, for example, should be added to the online store. Next, what additional information should be added to an order? For example, you can choose the Allegro login or other information. Then we decide whether we add the offer number to the information passed onto the store. Then, if we also want to pass on the seller's comments. Additionally, we can add a comment to each order. By default, it's the buyer's comments in the form of plain text or tags that can be found during the email template creation. You can also add a custom field to each order. If you change the status of products in an already processed order, by choosing Yes in this window, you'll be able to send set changes to the store. In the next tab, we have information on the products. Here, you can turn on the option which allows to download products directly from the store's warehouse. This way, you can display in all your Marketplace accounts products directly from your store's warehouse. If you decide that your main warehouse will be your store's one, then this option needs to be turned on. Here, you'll check when was the last time the products in your store and their stock levels have been refreshed. In the next tab, we link the statuses you currently have in Baselinker with those in your store. 
On the left-hand side, you have the base sinker statuses, and on the right, you choose the status from the store. Setting this up is essential to be able to pass orders onto the store. This setting is available in every online store integration. The next section focuses on linking shipping methods, those from the orders with those from the store. In addition, we can choose to pass on the tracking number of the shipment to the store at a chosen moment, straight away, or at a selected stage of processing. This is essential to ensure the submitting of the order to the store works correctly. Information and the parcel number will be passed on to the store. In the next section, we link the payment methods. Do you want to submit payment status updates to the store? If you choose Yes here, you'll be able to choose the payment types here. The default form of prepayment. At this moment, we see the options from the store here. Your information can look different. This setting is vital for the order submission to the store to work correctly. The next tab is Price Synchronization. Here, we can send prices from Baselinker to the store or from the store to Baselinker. Remember that the products you have in the Baselinker storage need to be linked to those in your store. It's similar when it comes to stock levels. We can synchronize them by sending information from Baselinker to the store or the other way around. Some of the options here are free. For example, synchronizing stock levels every eight hours. The other options of more frequent synchronizations incur an additional cost. The last tab consists of the advanced store settings. Here you can set mapping of exceptional attributes. Choose the net or gross price of the order, an option of selecting orders only from a specific progress status, or even choose the warehouse you want to link the specific shop with. It's important if your online store is a multi-store type shop. Let's try an integration with a different store. Let's go back to the Integrations tab and add a new integration. This time, let's go with the Shopify integration. So we go back here to our Shops, click Show All, and look for Shopify. It's located here. Click on the tile. Just like with WooCommerce, we need to input three bits of information here. The shop's web address, the API key, and the API password. Remember that very often when adding an integration in Baselinker, you'll find instructions and helpful tips on how to add the integration and how to find the information needed to add such an integration on the left side of the screen. Once the integration is added, it will show up in the Integrations tab. We move on to our second shop on the Shopify platform. In case of Shopify, the tabs Orders, Product, Synchronization, and Others don't differ from the tabs available in the WooCommerce Setup page. Your orders will show up in the form of a shopping cart where in the list of orders you'll also see the name of the shop. This way you can identify that this is indeed an online shop order.